Hi there, everybody. Healthy habits that changed my life. That's the, the title and the story behind this video today. Because, why? Many people are unhealthy. And so was I. I was so unhealthy that I almost died some eight, nine years ago. Because I was so overweight, like 30 to 50, 40 kilos. Um, I was almost 100 kilos and now I'm 70. So I lost that weight within three, two to three months. And I had a stroke because I was basically living an unhealthy lifestyle without even knowing it. And finding the way to turn around and to find healthy habits that changed my life, so not only did it change my life, so it saved my life, was the key to changing myself completely from being obesely overweight, from being very unhealthy, stuck on 10 medications, from being depressed, from being angry all the time, angry at people, never happy, always complaining, uh, getting unfit, and became becoming unsuccessful in my work and, 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 and life, personal relationship life, close relationships, other friendships, and so on. Everything was going wrong. So, how do you change? And how do you make the changes? What are healthy lifestyle habits? Well, they're actually quite simple. And I'm gonna run them down here for you off the top of my head. I have not scripted this because I don't want to because I know this off by heart and just by a feeling. So as you can see, where, where am I? I'm standing outside in nature in the park, a beautiful park here in Cambodia, a lotus pond behind me, vast, huge lotus pond full of waters and flowers and, 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 green, and green. Why? Because that is healthy. I'd rather be doing this even though this background noise with a car alarm going off now is unfortunate. It doesn't matter. I'm in nature instead of a studio in a room making this video. And that's what is the key. Spending as much time as you can in nature and getting outside into nature rather than sitting inside all day in your office, at home, working at home and, and, and doing everything you can from home or inside. So the other thing is that food, it all starts with food. If you don't adjust your food habits, your food intake, to healthy real food then you've got a problem you've got to start stop eating junk food stop eating processed uh, carb laden food sugar laden food uh sugar completely so cut out and reduce everything that's made from grains wheat so bread pasta noodles rice uh pizza buns uh, burger buns all those types of things are terribly unhealthy for you so i highly advise you to cut out that to start with and then you're on a low carb diet high protein high fat diet by eating lots of meat fish eggs, uh, seafood, animal fats, dairy, uh, cheese and cream and, 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 and raw milk, um, things like that, coffee and some dark chocolate and so on. There's, there's endless amounts of possibilities to change your food. Next is you have to get out and move your body every single day. I do that by, and I recommend that by walking, by uh, hiking, trekking and swimming a lot in nature. Again, why? Because I'd rather do the exercise. As you can see, I'm lean and, and, and strong. I'd rather do my exercise and my, my exercise routine and movement outside in nature than inside a d dirty, dark gym full of people, loud music, where people are shouting about and clanking the, 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 the weights around and so on. It's just, not a, it's just not a healthy environment to be in and, and it's also dirty because of the bacteria. Uh, the bacteria is all over the place because people don't wipe off the machines, etc., etc. Gyms are a made up thing which are not exactly the best places for, for, for health. The next thing is, so that's the movement part. The next part is the wellness part. It's very important to focus on self-care. It's very important to do med meditation, mind calming things, mind calming exercises. So meditate once or, or three times a day for five to 15 minutes, depending on how long. Focus on your breath, focus on being calm, focus on being on yourself and try to you know, eliminate any thoughts from your mind. If thoughts do come into your mind, that's fine. Let them process and let them run away again. Okay, that's how you meditate. Shut your eyes be in a quiet place, you can be outside in a place like this too. You just have to be able to, to shut the outside world off. You can also do meditation by walking. I call that walking meditation or meditative walking, which is excellent. What that means is you have to focus on your environment, take in all that's around you with mindfulness thinking, okay? So that's very important. Those, that's a super healthy habit. Another healthy habit that will change your life is 
getting adequate sleep and rest. You have to rest at least two to three times a day. I highly recommend you take a nap once a day for about 15, 20 minutes, maybe um, after lunch or something like that. If you're getting up at six o'clock like I do, I go, back, go to bed at 10, I'll try to take a nap around 2.30 uh, to 3. Then I'm fresh again, I can dawn until about 7, 8 in the evening, and I have dinner, and then I'll finish an hour later and go to bed. Sleep. Get your seven hours sleep or eight hours sleep in. It's important. So go to bed early, get to bed early. i uh, sorry, go to bed early, get up early. That's what you need to do. You don't need to do it to the extreme, as some people say, the four o'clock club, club, the five o'clock club, club, no. You just get up at, at a reasonable time. Six, six thirty, seven is very reasonable. I try to go to bed between nine and 10, it varies, depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'm watching a movie, sometimes I'm out. But you know, 9.30, 10 is my average when I go to bed. And I get up usually 6, 6.30, 7, mostly 6.30ish, I would say. So that's another super healthy habit. Another uh, great habit is positive self-talk, positive affirmations. Talking yourself into a good space, um, telling yourself that you're good, telling yourself that you're special, telling yourself that you can do it, talking out loud to yourself. It may sound weird, but it's actually very helpful and very beneficial. You've got to tell yourself that you are great, that you are fantastic, that you are one of the best in the world, that you can achieve anything. You're unbreakable, you're unstoppable, and you, you, you want this, you want that. You ask the universe, that's called the, the law of attraction. You ask the universe for what you want, and you set yourself those goals and you go for it. You, every single day you have to practice positive self affirmations, telling yourself you're great, saying how much you love your friends and family, and thank, sending them greetings and thanks, and, and, and gratefulness and thanks, and then thanking yourself and telling yourself that you can do it. You're unstoppable, you're unbeatable. No matter how difficult your situation is, whatever you're facing, the challenges you're facing, be it uh, financially, relationships, uh, divorce, whatever, you know, it, you have to stay positive and you have to believe in yourself. That's it. Those are the most important daily lifestyle habits that changed my life and saved my life. If I hadn't made those changes those eight years ago, I would not be here today. I would have been gone a good seven years ago. So that's something to remember. I am now 55 and I'm healthier than ever, stronger than ever. I'm the same weight I was when I was 18, when I was in the Olympic Games in Calgary in 1988 and I'm strong as an ox. But I'm not big and bulky because I don't want to be that way. I want to be lean and, tr and trim and mean. A mean, fat-burning machine. That's our goal on the keto carnivore diet, and that's what we're here for, to do. Eat right, eat well, eat healthy. Don't eat often. I only eat once or twice a day, maximum. Never any breakfast, only lunch from, from two, and dinner maybe up until seven or eight. But I hardly even eat dinner. If I have something for dinner, it'll be some eggs and some cheese, something like that keep it small because I'm going to bed in, a, in an hour or two. So you don't want to be full when you go to bed. It's another important thing to remember. Okay, that's it for now, for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll be making some fitness videos in the coming up days, a fitness series that for you to follow, my methods, my routines, the body weight workouts that I do, and the skills that I, I learn with the headstand and handstand and will teach you. And I hope you watch that soon. All right then, that's me from Rob's Health Crunch robshealthcrunch.com, www.robshealthcrunch.com. Please go there and also check out, don't forget to subscribe and share my YouTube channel at Rob's Health Crunch. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.